Hello everyone. Welcome to edupediaworld.com. This is your video lecturer Vamika Soni and in the current video lecture I will explain about transportation in humans. So, in the current video lecture I will explain about blood, composition of blood and I will focus mainly on red blood cells. So, let's begin the video lecture. We'll discuss about blood in this video lecture. See, blood is the connective tissue and is the liquid medium through which transportation of material is done. In adult humans, 5 to 6 liters of blood is present in the body and it makes about 7 to 8 percent of body weight. In a living being, the blood is constantly circulated from the heart to the arteries and back through the veins. The blood is slightly alkaline with the pH of 7.3 to 7.45. The blood when taken from an artery is bright red in color. It is dark red in color when taken out from the vein. See in color diagrams of blood circulation, the veins are shown in blue color and the arteries in red. It is actually not so. This is done for the purpose of contrast. It's very important to know what is plasma. See, plasma is a pale yellow colored alkaline liquid which forms about 55% of the total blood volume. The approximate percentage of its main constituents are as follows. Water is present in the amount of 90 to 92%. Protein 7 to 8%. Inorganic salts 1%. And other substances in traces. See, plasma also contains several salts, mainly sodium chloride and sodium bicarbonate, glucose, amino acids, fats, enzymes, hormones, antibodies and also digested and excretory products of food. So many things are present in plasma. Next is serum. See, serum is the blood plasma from which fibrinogen, the blood clotting protein, has been removed. It is a yellow colored fluid. Then we will discuss about the composition of blood. See these are uh, the blood cells are cellular elements of blood. They form 45% of the total blood volume. They are of three types. First one are the red blood cells better known as the erythrocytes or RBCs. Then we have white blood cells also known as leukocytes or WBCs. The last one, platelets, also known as thrombocytes. Now we will discuss about red blood cells. See, red blood cells are minute circular discs. They have no nuclei at maturity. In the cytoplasm is present a red pigment known as hemoglobin, which is a protein with iron. Iron is also known as heme in its molecule. It has an affinity for oxygen and readily combines with it in conditions of high oxygen concentration. It forms an unstable compound called oxyhemoglobin, which however in conditions of low oxygen concentration readily breaks down and releases oxygen. This property makes it most efficient in transporting oxygen from the lungs to the tissues having low oxygen concentration. There are about 5.5 million RBCs in a cubic millimeter of blood. So this was all about hemoglobin which is a very important part of the red blood cells. See a red blood cell lasts for about 4 months after which it breaks down and is disintegrated in the liver or spleen. About 3 million RBCs are destroyed each day and about 4 times of this number are formed every day. RBCs are produced in the bone marrow. See there are certain facts about mammalian erythrocytes that I will discuss. First one is that they have no nucleus. That makes the RBCs biconcave increasing the surface volume ratio for more oxygen absorption. Because of this reason, they have no nucleus. Second one, they have no mitochondria. 
the erythrocytes thus cannot use the oxygen themselves although oxygen absorbed by the rbcs is transport and delivered to the tissues without any loss next is newborn infants have high number of erythrocytes up to 6 to 7 million rbcs per microliter so huge amount of rbcs are present in newborn infants then in a person living in high altitudes rbcs are more in number by about 30% so this was all about red blood cells which are also known as erythrocytes in my next video lecture i will discuss about white blood cells their and their types till then keep watching to the videos of edupediaworld.com thank you for listening have a wonderful day ahead